First and foremost, I'd like to thank God. He's blessed me much more than I deserve. Um, I had great teammates. You know, that they're the reason why I'm here. It's never been about me. This is a team award. Um, without them, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in now. Um, I know Miles Ruffs got inducted last year. We were two team captains on that 2010 team. Um, you know, I'm just I'm happy to be here for them. Uh, I know that the award is an individual award, but at the end of the day, I want to be remembered as a member of the 2010 NEC championship team and not as, you know, the defense player of the year or, you know, all these tackles. I want to be a member of that team. Uh, winning the uh, NEC championship uh, against Central Connecticut State. I think we won 42 to 20. Um, there's a lot of talk about how they were the the team to beat, and you know they came into our house and, and we dominated them. And just see the joy and satisfaction uh, on all my teammates and coaches' faces. It, it, it'll I'll never forget it. Amazing. I mean, probably the best feeling that I've ever had. Um, you know, just all the hard work paid off, and, and I celebrated with my brothers and. It was an amazing feeling. I mean, when I was in school here, and you know this, uh, they had three buildings on campus. If I was here now, I don't think I'd ever leave. Um, you know, they're, they're putting money into, you know, the academic side as well as the athletic side, and, and I think that there's going to be a lot of success in the near future. Uh, I, I had great, great leaders ahead of me, uh, Coach Ferris and Coach Vanzak, Coach Walton, to name a few. You know, Coach Ferris changed my life. He taught me how to prepare. He taught me how to work hard. He taught me how to get the most out of myself and you know without him I wouldn't be in the situation where I am right now you know he believed in me when I was transferring from Temple you know he gave me an opportunity whenever I was done playing football he gave me an opportunity to coach and you know I'm forever grateful to him um, he's the guy that I want to emulate as a football coach he's the reason why I got into coaching college football because it's bigger than football for him it, it, it's bigger than the X's and O's it's about the Jimmy and the Joe's it's about developing those relationships with the guys it's yeah. about developing relationships with, with the guys you're working with and he, he changed my life well, I, well <laughs> you're, you're only the second person that's ever called me an athlete other than Jerry Schmidt at Duquesne I don't know why he called me that but uh, you know I, I think the main thing with me is I wasn't blessed athletically as most people would think you know my brothers and sisters got most of the athletic ability but I was blessed with, you know, that that grit. I was blessed with that intestinal fortitude, as my dad would tell me. That's what I got from him. I worked hard. I prepared. I, I gave, you know, I, I was relentless. And, and everything that I did was 100%. And, and my teammates and my, and my coaches never doubted that I was giving them everything I had. So, you know, the, the biggest thing in, in, in football, ultimate team sport, you know, I got my brothers. I got the guys I played around with. And I depended on them. I feared. You know, that was the biggest fear for me is fear of letting them down. And every day that I would work out or I'd go to practice, it was all about them. And it was never been about me. So.